What's up guys, welcome back to another chapter of One Piece 889, An Unknown Mama. Okay, that's the title. Anyway, we have our little people. Uh, so, dropping in the life of the straw hat, Red Violet, Volume 22, Leo Arc, I decide to become a pirate. Okay, and then we have a Violet and Rebecca behind, you know, just laughing at them. So, let's see. Uh, okay, so we don't have much details on that. So, let's go on to the next chapter. Curse you, li little rabbit, if I go. Jenny, rub, rub, rub. What is your wish, my master? Here something for ya. Take this. Oh shit! Actually, Jenny is kind of screwed up because if you look at it, right? I mean, he's, he's trying to hurt Carrot, but he kind of destroyed those total ships. But anyway, stop this. Uh, please stop this, Lord Defuku. That little she is taking our helm again. She is actually breaking. Look at it. like if you look at the hands properly, there's a lot of ships wheel. See so holding it like smile. Why you trouble? Why you trouble some little rabbit? Wow. Yeah. Okay. So she is literally destroying everybody. Let's see. Uh, so we have Big Mom though. That's something important about this chapter. Let's see. Jumping from ship to ship, she's really amazing. Well, I never knew Carrot could do something like that. She's like my little sister, you know. <laughs> He's had a problem too. If if the face of the moon and the clouds in the sky are their side, they are pretty strong. Wait, if the face of the moon and the clouds in the sky are on their sides, they are pretty... Oh, wait. So if a cloud come and hide the moon... That means he will go back to being a normal carrot. When those of the Ming tree stare directly into an unclouded full moon, if his set that deeply buried memories of a feral past are awakened and the people call that white violent form of the Sulong. Sulong, usually when a Ming transform into it's no help for anyone, they lose their minds and simply mindless destroy everything. Both themselves and others. What? Wait, themselves and others? The Ming unable to control that tires themselves out so much fighting throughout the night that they die. Are you serious? We gonna have another one. So we already have Lola's father and Petro. Now, Carrot too. I don't think they will let. Can't do that. I'm pretty sure Chopper especially will serve her right now because after see he just said she's like his little sister So he's definitely will serve her. I know that much A double-edged sword technique that saves a, a way at one's own life Miss Carrot stealing the radar of the enemy is truly wonderful idea allow me to assist you before we are focused to fighting these enemies ahead Okay, help Brooke you will fall into the yo -ho -ho. oh right he's so light he can run on the water again guys this is something a lot of people ask but i don't know how to answer this as a one piece fan i don't i you know i'm ashamed i can't answer this so if you do know the answer please let me know how brook can run on the water i know he is light but he's a devil fruit user though he's running on a sea water so how does that exactly work i don't know so please do let me know in the comment section Let's let those two scrut our path ahead. Okay. Wait, just a minute, you. There's enemies behind us too. Right. Wheeze, wheeze. Okay, promise, Prometheus. Brother Petro, something wrong with Mama. Jesus. Pero yeah, I know. She is thinning her out and her breath is ragging. Let's just focus on getting Caesars and Prometheus over here. Mama asked us. It's been eight hours since Mama's eat it fit started. We never been able to, we never been this unable to stop one of her tatana and I never seen Mama this hungry. From here on out we will f facing a mama unknown even to us. Okay, alright, okay, this is the title. Should we just wait until we get to the Coco Island? 
By the way, Bill of Head Rose, the cake is on its way here, putting, bringing it, huh? Are you serious? That's a true godsend. But that's just the thing, bro. Uh, putting is really is bringing. But the ship, the cake is belong to beach. Perrin? Perrin? That's what he says. Look at his eyes, though. He's like, Perrin? Anyway, why in the world one of the assassination to be friend of that cake? That thing help to serve this kingdom I don't know what do we do now there's no way we can trust that cake well they don't have a chase uh, 9 p.m. inside the territory wages say you gotta be kidding there's no way huh I will let you do something like that big mom gonna eat this cake for sure right what kind of idiot wouldn't put poison or explosion in it I swear to God, I was thinking that as they were doubting, I was thinking that, you know, they will be able to do that and kill Big Mom. Let's see. We will be able to take out one of the Yongo. Do you have any idea what sort of chance is this is? Shut up. My pride as a cook is riding on this match. You quit your stupid plots. We will beat our enemies with the taste alone. Huh? This ain't time for dreaming, boy. <laughs> okay, these two are having an argument about killing big mom with the taste or with poison anyway let's see big mom eaten basically every sweet and snack under the sun and you think you can make a cake beyond her imagination yeah because i have to or we would we are dead that's just what i want to do but even if you manage to succeed she won't just let us live i guess you just don't know that kind of person big mom once was there's been many times that she regretted not doing away with someone when she had the chance. Gulp. Oh, okay. He basically took a spoon of cake and put it in Beige's mouth. It's like, yeah, father, father. The hell did you do to father, you bastard? Back like, what the hell did you make father eat? Ask him. It's delicious. I could die. This cream, this deliciousness almost killed him. So, Beige's gonna shut up and let Big Mom eat this. And like, Look, Beige, you can assassinate her if you want, but that's only after I filled her belly. I feed those who want to be fed. That's a cook's job. Oh my god. Pudding, I swear to god, Pudding need to stop this. I mean, she's like, she had another nosebleed attack. Like, what happened to you? Beige, it's been a while since I asked my, since I used my own cooking skills to believe in the power of sweets. Damn, damn and blast. It's feel like I've been hypnotized, but w what is this joyous feeling spreading through my body, mouth? Who's got a hurry? We got a hurry. Is this, is the nap finished? I just, uh, just a bit more. Lady Chefan, we lost the two cooks to the sweet aroma. Tell them to keep it together. I hope you are safe. Nami, I'm coming for you. Damn, okay. Sanji don't have putting in his mind anymore. I mean, he do care about her, I, but his main goal is nami -san. Anyway, let's see. And I think they both go well together, more than Luffy and Nami. I, I go for Nami and Sanji, not for Luffy and Nami. Anyway, um, let's see. Inside the territory at sea, Caesar and Prometheus. Hurry, hurry. Which way? Straight ahead. I can feel Napoleon through the ways. I don't know which way we are going because you went back to eat a wildfire. And who was it that damaged me enough to have to do that, Caesar? You let one of the enemy use you. We are special. We are the only one homies born directly from Mama. So next time you try to betray Mama over some food, I won't forgive you. I'm sorry. Okay. It seems like Caesar is back and Prometheus is also have to go and eat the wildfire when uh, Caesar actually striked. Anyway, inside the territory, the sunny, our rudders don't work. We are being swept by the wave, a path being made. Okay, Carrot is literally just spinning around beautifully. It's like it's effortless, effortless effort, effect she's putting on. She's just moving in smoothly in the air and breaking down all the wheels. But I'm still not happy with she's, she have to die, end of this. But hey, I'm losing consciousness. I gotta stop soon. How many ships are left? Jenny. Yeah. That guy's huge help. 
that guy is a huge help yeah he's actually destroying most of the ship for her but anyway miss carrot i know i'm i'm not much but i managed to put the ship over there to sleep pardon baron Coves, that's enough let's go back thanks no thank you hmm? thanks no thank you how are you going to return to normal if i hide my eyes from the moonlight ha ha i will be able to switch back i can use that hat hat or colored glasses i can even use my just close my eyes the light of the full moon uplifts it truly was beautiful to behold okay so carrot is back and all she had to do keep her eyes closed to return to normal that's a big relief for me i don't know about you guys but that's a big relief for me carrot is an awesome character anyway uh, brother petros brother defaku is is done for his battleships are being pushed aside by the waves ah how useless that's bloody difficult thank you carrot we made it out to that big punch they almost sang us hey can i go into the room that doesn't have view of the moon okay m oh shit okay mama this is prometheus are you here yet bah yes we are just got here oh shit i don't think big mom can take it anymore look at her she is ready to sing big like Sing Sunny. Sunny is just over there and she is all the way there and Prometheus and Caesar are here as well. It's it's gonna be bad people. Sanji have to make it here ASAP. Oh shit. Dude, just look at this. I mean, just it's nah. Her even her hair she is on fire, dude. She is pissed. Mama. Is that you? She looks like a completely different person. Look at her. She's sweating so much. She's so hungry, man. Like, huh? What's with that agility? Wedding cake. Big mom is coming. Dude, she is pissed off and she is coming for that cake big time. She is so serious about this. Oh, shit. She's jumping on Sunny. Oh damn, she actually landed on Sunny. Dude, this is this is bad news. Bad news for everybody on that ship, including that ship, Sunny. It is just bad news. Sanji have to go here and I don't know, I don't know. They have to sort this out. Give it give, give me it. Like, okay. 889. That's the end. It's like no way. Where is that cake? Oh shit. Yep, as they say, distance is zero. And how oh. right now he just said we might have to ditch the ship. Frankie won't be happy if that happened, but I'm pretty sure that won't that won't be the end of the, like the case because this is the ship that's supposed to sail all the way to uh, the final destination, Grand Line. That basically, have to circle the Grand Line. That's Frankie's dream. So they have to, they have to, you know, they can't destroy the ship. They can't ditch the ship and run away. I'm pretty sure everybody will be against this, even though Jinbei don't know much about the history of, of the ship. But I don't think any other. And carrot probably wouldn't really mind, but yeah, carrot. Okay, carrot is worn out. Now she have to go inside the room, otherwise she would die, right? So I don't know. I'm I'm looking forward to the next chapter, guys. Let me know your thoughts, your reaction in the comment section. I will check them out. If you do have any feedback for me, do comment below. Let me know what's your thoughts on this chapter because this is some some crazy shit right there. Big Mom is on a roll, so I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing her like how how i don't know i don't know how they're going to escape from big mom and serve sunny at the same time and serve carrot as well think about it she's not in the room so yeah you can vote if you enjoy, like if you like this chapter or not by going to the top right hand corner and you can vote if you enjoy this chapter and if you do have enjoyed this reaction you can leave a like below people that's it from me again do let me know what you guys think about this chapter in the comment section the next chapter will be out Look forward to it. Have a beautiful day, people. And see you guys with more videos.